Belmopan police are investigating an early morning murder in Moore Tomorrow Village. According to family members of the deceased, it was an apparent robbery that ended up in murder. Correspondent Fem Cruz has that story. Belmopan CIB continued their investigations into a number of murders here in Ikayo South. The latest being this morning, Thursday, June 4, sometime around 1 o'clock. According to police, they were called out to an area between mile 39 and 40 on the Jag Price Highway, about two miles inside the Motomaro Road. Upon arrival at a farm inside an upstairs wooden house, saw the lifeless body of a Hispanic female person lying face up on a bed, apparently shot to the left side of the neck. She was identified to be 39-year-old Paula Garcia Zacarias, Guatemalan, of Orange Walk Tongue. With the permission of the father, Love News spoke to the daughter of the deceased, 15-year-old Elisa Garcia, and the owner of the farm, Michael Flowers, about receiving that shocking phone call from the chairman of the village. Last night, like one o'clock, we the, the dogs began to dark, and then my my father stand stand up and see to out to the window. He saw a car, a taxi white, and that taxi began to go slow, slow, and then he began to shoot. And my father told my mommy get down to the floor, and when my mom is going. Getting down to the floor, they shoot one, one. They shoot her by the neck through the window. And then they gun and and we um, we stayed down. All of us stayed down. And when 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 we don't, when we do not hurt heard no noise, we get out and see him. Nobody's there. And I, when I see my mother, is is die. What do you think the uh, the personal persons came to do here at the farm? They come because they want to steal pigs, and they see us when because we are him. And when they see us, they shoot us and leave the pigs and shoot us. And then when they they shoot us, they gun. About um, three thirty this morning, I receive a call from the chairman of Motomara Village, um, stating that um, my caretaker is at his residence. And mentioned to him that they had, they had just shot his wife. Immediately, I got up, get ready, and came to the farm. First of all, I called the police and informed the police about the incident. After which, I came to the farm, and I discovered that what he what he had said is exactly true. What he did mention to an interpreter to me is that about one o'clock. Um, it seems like um, some people came to steal pigs and they put on their light and was about to proceed to come out to see what was going on and they came straight up to the house before they were even able to come out the house and shut up the house. Of which the wife of the said man who is taking care of my property got shot. I'm extremely saddened to hear that. These people just came to work here on Saturday. They haven't even set up all their things as yet, and this was what happened. I am very, very, very shocked, and, my, and, I, and I'm really passionate about my farm. I want to see my farm grow, but this has surely put a damper on what I'm going to do with this farm. This is Brother Femme Cruz reporting from the beautiful village of Motomaro for Love FM.